Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I welcome you to this time of daily reflection. Today, we shall reflect on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 37. And he said to him, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said, Go and do likewise. Brothers and sisters, this command of the Lord is in context of the Good Samaritan. Here the Lord highlights the nature of the Levite and the priest who pass by after seeing a Jew who is robbed, beaten and left to die. Whereas the Samaritan goes out of his way and looks after the Jew and restores him back. Brothers and sisters, mercy and compassion are the very nature of God. All through the Bible, we will see how God has been showing mercy upon His people. He has been the same compassionate and merciful God. We see this in Exodus chapter 34 verses 6 and 7. When the Lord reveals Himself to Moses as He hides Moses in the cleft of the rock and He reveals His nature to him. As it goes, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousand generation. The mercy of God flows to thousands of generations. That is our God. Run sisters, it is important for us to know the mercy of God. The mercy that the Lord has shown to each one of us. It's important for us to recognize. Only then will we be able to understand the amount of mercy that God has extended to us. To that measure, we will be able to understand and give mercy to others. Brothers and sisters, we find it very difficult to show mercy or even forgive a person. But let us remember, as the word of God tells us in Titus chapter 3 verse 5, he says, He saved us not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, you and I did not deserve mercy. Yet God in His compassion had mercy on each one of us. Now you may ask, what is the difference between forgiveness and mercy? Brothers and sisters, forgiveness is letting go or overcoming your desire of resentment, of, of anger to give back. Whereas mercy is an action which involves withholding of harsh treatment to a person. Mercy, my dear brothers and sisters, is something which we do not deserve and yet we have been given mercy. Uh, brothers and sisters, once if we understand this, we need to realize how indebted we should be to God for the mercy that He has shown and He continues to show to each one of us. I'll explain this with one story which I know, brothers and sisters, a real life incident. There's an African lady um, who had a son and a husband. One day, the cops came and shot their son in front of them. And a few days later, she came and they came and uh, took away her husband. And after some days, they brought him back, tied him to a tree and burnt him. Well, sisters, that was a kind of treatment given to that lady. And at the court, when the judge asked this lady to give her uh, punishment or what she would like to be done, to the cop. It will be shocking to know that she said, I would like this 
pop to come and stay with me as my son she never revealed anything that would make a person feel that he has done such a grave sin run sisters that is what god has done to each one of us even though we were sinful god never showed his anger or his desire to re- to destroy us but rather he showed his mercy and this very thing of mercy we can see on the cross when we see jesus dying on the cross run sisters very often when someone wrongs us we want to give back we find it very difficult to forgive or to let the person go with whatever he or she has done to us but unless we don't understand what god has done we will not be able to forgive our brothers and sisters we see in matthew 18 verses 23 to 35 the parable of the unforgiving servant we see how the servant is forgiven all his debt by the master and later when he meets his fellow servant how he treats him it is the same with us brothers and sisters you and i behave in the same manner very often but god expects something different we also have the beatitudes which we recently heard of how the lord tells us in matthew chapter 5 verses 7 which tells us blessed are the merciful for they shall be shown mercy jesus tells his disciples in matthew 9 verse 13 i desire mercy and not sacrifice friends sisters this mercy jesus himself gave to all his torturers who tortured him and crucified him on the cross and today brothers and sisters jesus wants us to show mercy to one another only then we will be able to show the love and mercy of god to the world run well, i will give you two more examples of real life stories of one widow whose son was killed by another youth and in the court when they were brought before the lady whose son was killed went to the mother of the convict and told her i have lost my son i don't want you to lose your son therefore i leave your son and let him go and the greatest example well sisters we have in our own country where a say sister rani maria blessed rani maria who was stabbed to death her family went out of the way to forgive the one who killed her and in turn the sister went and tied raki to the person in prison and they in, even invited the convict to their home for me brothers and sisters if god is asking us to be merciful surely he will give us the grace to be merciful because whatever the lord has commanded us he has given us the grace to do that if we truly want to be merciful we you and i need to ask the lord ask the lord and ask him and beg of him to give us his mercy his compassion ask him to pour his love and mercy in our hearts brothers and sisters as we have heard this let's surrender our lives and all the people who are around us ask the lord to reveal to us how much he has shown mercy so that we may be able to show mercy to others praise the lord St. Lawrence. If you want to grow spiritually and know more about Jesus and his teachings, please subscribe to the channel. I'm St. Bonaventure and if you enjoyed and learned something new, then please press the like button. I'm St. Philomena and I want you to please share this video with your family, friends and all your WhatsApp groups. I am St. Thomas of Villanova and I want you all to comment a word or a scripture touch you the most 
watching this video. Hi friends, I am Saint Monica and today I want to encourage you to press the bell icon mentioned here below in order to get notified about every new spiritual content on this channel. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay connected.